Hey, 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 welcome, welcome. Come on in. Bell Me Cherry's here. You guys, this face is a done deal. This face signed papers. This face is agreed with the new contracts or whatever the situation is. I did this face going to my first nursing orientation um, to work with this new company as a nurse for the first time. I'm stepping into the field, you guys. So um, this was the face and I care to um, share that face with you guys because I did get some compliments and some, you know, people asking what the face had on, what was it about, whatever, whatever, whatever. So here we are recreating this face, showing y'all how it was done, how I pulled in, pulled out, and how you could do the same too. If you want to see what products were used to create this soft, soft, workable, everyday-ish type of look, stay tuned and enjoy the process and hopefully you guys all these products on your end to enjoy and recreate this look and for you guys to enjoy um enjoy the the process and thank you for watching and subscribe if you're new here and let's get this done together <laughs> prepped up my brow this time around I have been testing out the way of doing my brow I use the um, benefit precisely my brow pencil and the shade 3.5 I use this although it's a little light it could be darker but I use this prior to applying my good old um, got to be got to be gel this is the hair gel so this is over that once I carved in and everything just to hold the hair and I apply a thin layer so it doesn't create a mess or lift up the pencil or the um, pigmentation of the pencil. So on the face, I prime my face with the e.l.f. Uh, Dewy Primer, the a, I keep Jelly Pop, I keep forgetting it, the name of it, although it does look like a jelly. Um, my face is already prepped up with moisturizer, skincare routine, like always. I applied this, then over it, I apply my oil sucking primer. We are um, almost out. Granted, uh, a lot of it has already dried up from sitting here. So before it all turns into crust putting it to good use and I'm applying it with a brush alrighty and this is a simple size you already know the reason why I got a simple size I'm using these two up before I go and get my full size and um, so we don't have to worry about it um, we letting this fully dry. Y'all could clearly see where the oil sucking is because it's a lot more modified from where it's not. And that's exactly what we need. The foundations that I used um, on this look are these two Born This Way and Estee Lauder. One is too dark and one is too light. And I can show you the two on my face um, separately. So this is the spice rum from the is this soft matte which which one is this one anyway this packaging um spice rum is somewhat my shade but i toned it down a little bit i wanted it to be a little darker and this um double wear still order is too dark for me and i mix a teensy bit of that Y'all see the difference? I mixed the two to get my, you know, a better match um, somewhere in between. So that is somewhat dried up. You could see it's probably going to get white as it dries up. Perhaps not fully because it's over the, the dewy drop, the jelly pop um, primer. 
which has a lot more moisture in it. I really wish I had a pump for this Estee Lauder. By now, they should they should know what time it is, giving us what works instead of trying to make it work. So this is the two on my skin. All right, so let's apply that all over and I'm gonna use my brush. Stamp that in. You can use any type of brush, but this is my favorite and has been my favorite. The Vince Kamuto uh, brush that I grabbed from TJ Maxx at some point. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this look is was for my orientation and I went to my first orientation for for a new my first um nursing job a nursing position and I like what I saw so far. I'm gonna be working with kids. I don't know if I should tell you all of this stuff, but we are family here and you see this this is giving us a nice soft um matte situation and the match is to perfection okay my face held through just fine except i put too much of that oil sucker and it started peeling was that the reason my face was peeling or something else? I, I, I think that's, that's, that's what it was. It started peeling. So, you know, I had to do a little bit of correction. But it held through. Oil stays a, at bay. Face was looking really pretty. Um, I had my, sungla my glasses on um, throughout the day to see. My regular glasses to see. Um, and, of course, we had the situation on the under the eye with the the glasses sitting all over my skin but we other than that with the glasses on everything looks perfect got some compliment some girlies loved what they saw asked what was what i was wearing so gave me the idea of let's do let's recreate this with my peoples so they could be on to what i had on that day and if they want to recreate if y'all want to recreate it you do just that okay so we had this you see the foundation it's softly matte and stuff so we're gonna put that out the way and the concealers i pulled out for yesterday was the sephora's best skin ever these not the other one not the lightweight one i chose this one the 38p and 35n um give us that and using the same concealer the 38p around my brow so yeah that's what i did we already know how the brows gets done so this is that um we're gonna go ahead and um get this concealer out the way and i'm using my zoeva brush where she's at where she at this baby right here i do see morphe has a brush set like this like all of them are shaped that way I really want to try it but perhaps I should wait or you know what I might just grab it from Ulta instead of waiting to, to see it showing up at TJ Maxx okay now the 35 N is just to brighten I'm gonna leave that on there for a minute. They're not, they're not. We'll figure it out afterwards. So, and then my blush for the day, I didn't put any, um, I just mainly put these two blushes from e.l.f. The Gorge Orange and Bronze Bombshell um, on. I didn't put no cream contour. Um, I didn't want my, my you know, my, I didn't want it my face to you know be too you know sharp or pronounced I didn't want a dramatic look I just wanted this to be a soft 
although i did bronze up but not using a cream product for it to show more um we did this the deeper one i put it on the outer part of the face to give us a nice bronzy sun-kissed look and not too much okay how does this look to you guys i try not to make everything about makeup but really as girlies it it's it somewhat be low-key it is <laughs> low-key it is Because at some point, if someone sees you and gives you a compliment, the same compliment they gave you, they would have somewhat at some point criticized you for how things look on your face or whatever, you know? So it is low-key about how you present yourself, how you, like, the first approach in any situation. Because somebody somewhere always have an opinion. All right, this is what we look like. Normally, I would then go go in with my cream bronzer, which we're going to skip out on that. Um, right now, we're going to go ahead and set the face. And before I, um, I do so, I want to zhuzh it up with this L'Oreal Lumi Glow on the cheek just to give me a little bit of glowiness underneath because we're not putting highlighter over anything. Just really really light maybe I should put a little bit so the glowiness would be more so underneath and um, not looking too dramatic and this one is in the shade 904 I believe there's like three of them. This is the deepest one. Okay. I could have put this under my foundation, but that's not what I did. This is how it was done. So we do that. Let's go ahead and set the face. I pulled out my Sephora powder. And also, this Morphe bronzer, the Phantom good old like this is a like a very old gem but the glamour bronze bronzer from morphe i didn't use it as a bronzer i use it as a setting powder y yeah don't come for me but that's what i did because the shade is not deep enough for me and i pulled out my um loose setting powder from laura mercier no from abh and the shade deep peach for the under eye which I noticed is a little dry. To, it's, I mean, maybe because of the, um, y'all could see, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see. It was a little bit drying. Maybe I put in too much. I did too much. So I'll take first accountability for that. And then let's give it another try and see if it was me or it was the product. You can, at this point, like I always do, go back with your foundation brush which i was just about to skip and set everything or blend everything beautifully and i'm gonna go with the glamour bronze first the glamour bronze with my flat brush and that's what i've been using to press my product in y'all see what i mean the shade is like my skin tone it's not deep it's not too red or too grayish where i can't work it as my my it's really in there as my setting powder go in with a brush into the ABH powder, saturate my brush real good. Do that. I didn't do this step, I went in 
him with a sponge a dry sponge mind you this was it perhaps it was too much on the skin to start because i normally build it up over time so let's do it a teensy bit differently to get the best result and i think that's the best way to do it you don't put too much it doesn't suck up the moisture firsthand and become a mess under the eye y'all see it this is what it's looking like you can go back and add some more um but allowing it to work well with each other gradually instead of i put a little too much you see that's exactly what would have happened in here if i went in too crazy under the eye with the powder room for correction that's fine we're gonna leave it as that and then um still gonna brighten it up a little bit more Make sure you get an even layer. Alrighty. A little bit goes a long way with this powder. You use too much. Like right now, I'm already feeling the crunchiness um happening but the first time if i had to if i was to leave it like that we would have been just fine but you see it is a little drying be aware of that depends on how you put too much you're gonna get dried up especially i have that oil sucker underneath already but it is what it is it held through the day so just just letting y'all know the goods and bads and the ugly and the cuteness okay this is a little drying if you put too much don't put too much but then again, you can fix it, but prevent it so you don't got to fix it, okay? All right, so this is what we did. And I went in, although I did not use a um, cream bronzer, but I went in with my NYX uh, Buttermelt Bronzer. And this is the deepest shade and the shade butter than you no i don't think i'm butter than you and i use oh, i did it again i use this brush which should be my bronzer but i used it today accidentally and i'm just giving myself a teensy bit y'all see not too much of um depth on the outer part of my cheek um and around the forehead so the face don't look too flat and that's exactly what i did and i didn't go in with any blush or anything although i had my juvia's place lined up to use but i didn't do that i didn't use it so i went in with my sephora um powder to somewhat finesse everything with a more fluffier brush somewhat bland the two together with the powder we are secured right now i went in at this point i would go in with or i went in with my juvia's place where she's at she was here somewhere my juvia's place was it juvia's place or elf at this point, I'd go in with my e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Setting Spray to bring back the moisture, especially under the eye, giving us the glowiness we need. 
back onto the face. Yes, and that's what I did. Before it gets fully dry, I go in with my sponge, which I took with me to reset the face throughout the day. This Laura Mercier puff. Let's press that on here real good. You can instantly start feeling how, like, the um tightness, like, releasing and stuff. And you look nicely juicy. You look nicely done. Not too drying, not too, you know, skin looking like skin somewhat. And we're going to go on to the eyes real quick. It wasn't too much. I didn't do too much because we're trying to keep it cutesy and demure. I went back with my concealer over the lid. And, um teensy bit giving us a nice blank canvas and as soon as I, I um thingy it the same puff that I use in the excess that I had here on the back of my hand I press that on here with the puff or the sponge to set the lid so we do that nice and easy you don't have to do too much i went in with my favorite brush where's that brush at so i use the bronzer the buttermilk bronzer from nyx and this is the brush that i love using on the crease um teensy bit of that and place that on the outer V of my eye. Nothing else, nothing extra. Blend that into the, the crease. Again, we're using the first layer powder as like our neutral shadow base. And this look can be your everyday simple girl work day if you're working in the office and you know you want to look cutesy and it's easy for the non eyeshadow girls I, it's always an issue doing this part of my eye but i'm sure if you want to make the best use of your eyeshadows as well you could have a you, you'd find a nice neutral brown and just focus it on the outer part and you're ready to go and have a nice like a little cutesy shimmer on the inner part you don't have to do a whole glittery shimmery dramatic eye look and you're looking nice and ready to go so this is the base and for the eyes really i didn't put no um eyeliner well i didn't put no lashes like i don't normally use lashes um for like professional outing or whatever unless I'm going out with the girls or whatever and um, when I go out because I don't always go out if I'm not doing makeup look or running my errands and it doesn't have to do with any professionalism factor if that makes sense we don't do too much it's just the mascara and for liner I kept it brown um, using the tattooed liner from KVD and uh, go in okay and I didn't even put anything on my waterline I kept it as is Normally, I would put my, um, uh, you know what? I'm not going to put no lashes on this look. Am I? Should I? Yeah, listen, it's, it's, go, put your lashes on at your own risk. However you want people to approach you, they may think it's too dramatic and, you know, too, like I said, people always have an opinion.
um, whether you care or not. They prejudge on how you look on any little bitty thing because they have nothing else to do. And don't to ever let that bother you. You just want to deliver accordingly. I think I'm going off track. Let's, let's just go back. And uh, the mascara that I used was from the MAC. Is it MAC Stack? The small one. The travel size one. Um, I do have the big size too. And I'm growing to like this mascara. Yeah, that's what that's how your girl look like. Would you hire me? Would you want me to work in your establishment? Hmm. So that's how the eyes was, the lips, I mean, the eyes and the face and everything. Now, when it came to the lips, I kept it cute too. I kept it cute going in with this. I have them here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I kept it cute um, with some of my good old gems here. I uh, pulled out Juvia's Place. Cola is the shade. Again, and that we're not bringing in the drama. We're looking soft. Okay, that was the goal for the look. So I have had sitting here. It's been they've been sitting for the longest. The lid even changed color. So this is the color. From Stila, Shine Fever Lip Vinyl. This little thing here I had from a while back. This is what the packaging looks like. Really cute. Just shake it up real good. It's like a lip vinyl. Is that what it said? Yeah. So... Meaning, it's going to last. It's going to give you a shine throughout the whole wear. It's not sticky. It's not nothing. So, I put this on. Really, allow it to dry. Okay. And you let it dry. This holds the shine throughout the day. I didn't check to see whether it was transfer proof or not, but by the time I finished with this face, I made my statement I made my point I pulled in and pulled I mean I came in I pulled through and I head out and did what I needed to do learn what I needed to learn and sign what I needed to sign and agree with what I needed to agree with and then call it a day all right this was the face nice and simple and cute no lashes was needed. Brows was on point. Face, the under eye and everything was on point. I did seal the deal though. You know how I feel about this setting spray. Going back to my video, the reason why I used it. And seal the deal with the Milk Makeup setting spray. The little peach fuzz on my face. I use the same puff to pat down all that from the spray. This is a mattifying spray. It, it cut me right throughout the whole day. 
Alrighty, this was the look. Hopefully it wasn't um too long of a process for you guys. But then again, if you want, if you're about that business, you wanna come and look like you have been doing things the right way, you wanna show up with your face looking the right way or emphasized the right way. Um, and you do it nicely and you know people take you seriously. Although it's not about the makeup, but low-key, low-key, it is about how you look throughout the whole look, okay? The whole presentation of yourself. And it starts with your face. And I'm really loving this lip vinyl um, thingy. I do have two. This one is Speedway. I didn't use Speedway. This one is Full thr Throttle this one the the one what i'm wearing and this is the other one but again we wanted to keep it nicely soft and that's what we did what do you think would you hire me coming in as a nurse caring for you with a face like this wouldn't you like wouldn't you have a nice inviting well although you never mind that's not what it's about though but it is but it is you want to keep it soft and cute and presentable no drama, no high cheek, peachy, red, pinkish, purplish, marvelous cheeks with blushes or shimmer on the lid or whatever. You want to keep it soft. And that's what I did. And that's what we're going to continue doing for the daily, for the work days and um, bringing on on the non-working days. And you all, all get to see and enjoy the process. Yeah, to recreate on your end. Alrighty, so that's about it, my loves. Hopefully, um, you enjoyed this look. You get to recreate it. It's not as hard as it is, as it may seem. You enjoy the process. That's what mostly it's about. Enjoying, you know, in intensifying your beauty. And um, we pull up looking cute. Uh subscribe if you haven't done so let's go through this journey together and i'll let y'all know how my nursing journey goes every now and then i can't disclose too much but we'll just teach chat about the the highlighted moments and today well yesterday was one of those for my um orientation and i this was the look for it Alrighty, see you guys at another one. Stay tuned for our TJ Max and Marshall videos. If it's not dropped before that, if it did, you didn't get to see it, go ahead and check it out. I'll put it on the card here if it was ever dropped before this look or after. Um, and I'll get to see you guys on these other looks, on these other videos. Enjoy and share and subscribe and comment and do all the goodies that will support me here and keep me going and push through in between my busy schedule that it's gonna be the busiest of the busiest and um yeah showing that you guys still love me hmm. all righty <laughs>